is Cat Harvey? Cat Harvey is a boss. I'm the wolf on Capitol Hill. I don't take no for answer. I will be number one in the blogging and media game. Point blank, period. Hello? Hello? I'm Joan Cox. I'm an artist and I live in the Baltimore, D.C. area, but whenever I get down to D.C., I watch Cat Harvey's show, Success Nothing Less. Hey, what's up, world? I'm Cat Harvey, CEO of Success Nothing Less. Today, I'm so excited to be beside a woman who needs no introduction. She's one of those artists that come by once in a lifetime. She reminds me of like the female version of Michelangelo. She is the 2018 Baker Artist Awards. And um, I'm going to let her introduce herself. So please welcome none other than Miss Joan Cox. How Hi. are you? I'm great. How are you? Fine, and you. So <laughs> can you introduce yourself to the world? Sure. Um, I'm a painter. I'm from Baltimore, and um, the work I do may be uh, a little <laughs> less great than Michelangelo, but you never know, someday. Um, the work I do is focused on lesbian couples and depicting intimate relationships in a way that I have yet to find in galleries and museums. Um, so how did you come up with the name uh, Joan Cox Taboo, and what does that mean to you? Well, I had a solo show after I finished uh, graduate school about two years ago, and I needed a title. And Taboo just really stuck because these type of paintings, uh, you, you don't see um, images of women being intimate together. You know, in the big city, I did have some people say to me, well, this work doesn't seem that taboo. And then other people totally thought that it was. Okay. So how did you become confident in your sexuality and at the same time become an inspiration for women to be comfortable in their own skin? I have to say that it took some time. Um, I came out probably when I was around 25 years old and, you know, Katie Lang had a big hit song and there were some other inspirations. Ellen was coming out on TV at that time in her sitcom that helped me sort of come out just to friends or something. But it took a few years really to get comfortable with myself and then to bring that into my artwork took nearly 20 years. So do you have a favorite artist? I have lots, of course, but right now I'm really loving Wangechi Mutu. She's Kenyan born and she lives in New York City and she makes these beautiful, fantastical images of women on Mylar, which some of my other work is too, but they, they're they about her identity as a woman. They're powerful, but they're also really magical. Now, as an artist, you paint uh, several pieces. Do you have a favorite piece of yours? I do. Um, it's actually uh, the double portrait of myself and my partner. favorite pieces about this uh, painting is the fact that the blankets, which um, are our own blankets, are this one is sort of very masculine, and this one is um, more feminine. And actually, here's the real, here's the real blanket. Yeah. Um, it was handmade. But that really speaks to who we are and that we are both a bits of masculine and feminine. And Mayor, my partner, was really going to be the focus of the painting, and then I was just sort of there. Um, but people tell me that the intensity of my look uh, brings the attention to to me in the painting. So it's it's interesting when you start out to create a work and then how it changes before it's quite finished. What is your legacy behind your work? I want to create images of women so that young women, gay women, queer people, anybody can go into a museum or gallery and see themselves on the wall. I hope that I can affect one young person or two young people who just go like, okay, it's okay for me to either be gay or to be an artist and be gay, or I just want to affect social change within the fine art world. Okay. Do you have any advice for any artist that's coming up that's struggling or, or that wants to get to the next level in their career? Absolutely study contemporary art, installation art and video art and painting is, you know, just one little piece. And, and as a young person growing up, I thought painting was it. Painting is what art is, but it's not the case anymore. Art is so many things. Well, I thank you so much for advising your lovely home. We're going to show you guys an exclusive uh, sneak peek of some of her pieces. Stay tuned.
work of art is based on a famous painting that's in the Louvre. It's an unknown artist from, I don't know, the 15th or 16th century. And it's supposed to be two sisters. And this nipple pinching action is supposed to uh, show that this woman is pregnant with the king's baby. She's a mistress of the king and she's holding a ring here. But I'm subverting it and taking it into contemporary society. And I'm calling this piece and this piece the proposal part one and two. This so painting, painting, I am really trying to get across that, that feeling, that um, first moment of hand holding, sort of the butterflies in your stomach that you feel. It's obviously uh, less sexual than some of the other works. It's just about an emotion or an excitement or a spark between two people. So these are some of the works that were featured in my Taboo solo exhibit. This work is acrylic on mylar and it's suspended a few inches off of the wall so that the shadows created by the paint. And this is a couple kneeling on a bed. They are two women, but with this figure being very androgynous, um, some viewers come up to it at first and think that it's man and woman. And it, it takes a few minutes you know, before someone really realizes that it's two women. Okay. So can you tell the world where they can find and connect with you at? Uh, www.course.joancoxart.com <laughs> Awesome. It's Joan Cox. Thanks, thank Pat. you again. I appreciate it. Check her out. Pat Harvey. Till next time. Success nonetheless. Thank you. Yeah.